Let's look at our last example on our titration page 9 of the notes. We are being asked to find the pH at an equivalence point. When 40 mils of ammonia is titrated with 0.1 molar of acid. Here we have a weak base, ammonia, with a concentration of 0.1 molar and a volume of 40 mils. Being titrated against a strong acid, HCl. And again, the chloride serves as a spectator, so let's go ahead and denote just H plus as the value of hydrogen ion, 0.1 molar. I know at the equivalence point, we have an equal number of acid moles as base moles. And on the product side, we are forming the conjugate acid of ammonia called ammonium. The very meaning of equivalence point means equal number of moles of base, as equal number of moles of acid. Molarity times liter for the base shows us a value of 0.004 moles of ammonia. Knowing that the equival equivalence point means equal parts acid and base ion, we also know we have 0.04 moles of H+. Molarity times volume equal molarity times volume in the equivalence point. So we could also determine a new value for 40 mils of the hydrogen ion. Now, since we have equal numbers, there is no excess amounts of acid or base, giving us nothing on the left-hand side that will influence the pH of this solution. The only thing left to influence is the ammonium conjugate acid of the ammonia, the original base. Knowing that 0.04 moles equal value of acid and base would produce 0.004 moles of this ammonium ion, we'll divide that by the new added volume, 80 mils or 08 liters. And let's solve for the new molarity, 0.04 moles divided by 0.8 liters, and I'm showing that to be 0.05 big M molar units. If we know the concentration, too many zeros, if we know the concentration of the ammonium, it now simply turns into a hydrolysis problem. Again, the left hand side are completely consumed. It's the ammonium that goes on to hydrolyze, going back to form the ammonia in an acid protonated water called hydronium. Our pH had better end up in the acidic range in this hydrolysis process. So, here's what we know. This is an acid equilibrium for the hydrolysis of ammonium. We look up ammonia and it has a Kb, but we need that to be a Ka to represent this hydrolysis. We'll use the ion product constant of water, 1E negative 14, over the known value for Kb of ammonia, 1.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. We can find that in our appendix D or perhaps we've used it just enough to where you're beginning to memorize. Ammonia and acetic acid share the same value for Ka and Kb. So in our parentheses, we have determined Kw over the known Kb of ammonia will convince that to be a Ka. We'll set that equal to x squared over 0.05 molar, where x is going to stand for the hydrogen ion, which can then be used to find pH directly for the acid proton. So we'll hit pulling out x, whoops, on. So 1e negative 14 divided by the known Kb for ammonia, 1.8e negative 5. It has now been converted from a Kb into a Ka. We'll cross multiply by the 0,5 molar concentration of the ammonium ion, and now that's equal to x squared. Square root my answer, and hydrogen ion is looking is 5.27 times 10 to the negative sixth molar units. Negative log the hydrogen directly, and we get a pH of 5.28 pH units. That definitely makes sense. We are showing a hydrolysis of an ammonium producing hydronium, and 5.28 is in the acid range. We've concluded the practice examples in our notepack on titration.